Welcome to Infigyan once again. In this very powerful and exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, in this video we are going to take up one very intricating problem from rational equations. x square minus x minus 6 over x whole square plus x square plus x minus 6 over x whole square equal to 6. So let's get started. I will demonstrate two methods to solve this problem. So let me write method number one. It would be substitution method. So as you can see denominator is having x. So I will write x cannot be 0. One thing. Now I will give substitution. But before that I will multiply this equation with x square. So once I will multiply this equation with x square. We will be having x square minus 6 minus x whole square. The denominator x square will be cancelled out. In second bracket I will write x square minus 6 plus x shifted only the position of 6 and x and right hand side I will write 6x square. Now you can see our straight away substitution is clear that would be x square minus 6. So let us consider x square minus 6 equal to t. So our equation will convert t minus x whole square plus t plus x whole square equal to 6x square. Now you will be thinking I have substituted x square in terms of t and then again I am putting x. So I am not going to put the value of x. I am just holding it for next step only. So I will take whole square. So I will write t square plus x square minus 2tx. Then I will expand a plus b whole square, t plus x whole square. It is plus sign. So I will write t square plus x square plus 2tx. Now you can see no need to find out and put the value of x over here and here. Because once we will take whole square, it will get cancelled out. So what is left that is only x square term. See this one. Right hand side you are having x square. Left hand side you are having x square. So no need to find out x from the substitution. x square minus 6 equal to t. So what is left? 2 t square plus x square equal to 6 x square. Now from this equation we can write x square is equal to t plus 6 or 6 plus t. Now I will cancel whatever I can. So whatever I can cancel that is 2 and 6 first. So I will write 3 over there. So t square plus x square is equal to 3x square. Let me write equal to 3x square. Now t square will be equal to 2x square taking away x square from both sides. Now let us put the value of x square. x square is t plus 6. So I will write 2 t plus 6. So one quadratic formation is there. t square minus 2t minus 12 equal to 0. Let's solve this quadratic equation. So I will write here t square minus 2t minus 12 equal to 0. So t will be equal to, let's apply quadratic formula, Shridharachar formula, minus b, so 2 plus minus a square root, b square, so 4 minus 4ac. So minus times minus becomes plus 48 over 2. So I will write 2 plus minus a square root 52 over 2 which will come out 2 plus minus 13 times 4. So I will write 2 root 13 over 2. And in next step I will write our final value of t that would be 1 plus minus square root 13. And let us put back the value of t. Our substitution was, let me write here, x square minus 6 equal to t. So I will write here, x square minus 6 equal to 
1 plus minus square root 13. Add 6 to both sides. So x square will be equal to 1 plus 6, 7. Plus minus square root 13. We have to make sure that this value cannot be negative value. So if you will see the value of root 13, then root 13 is somewhere 3.6 means lying in between 3 and 4. So 7 plus 3.6 that is already positive but 7 minus 3.6 it is also positive. So no worry about that. Take a square root both sides. I will get my answer 7. Let me write square root over there. 7 plus minus square root 13. So this is our final answer using substitution method. Now we will take up second method of solving this problem using algebraic identities. So I will write our equation first x square minus x minus 6 whole square plus x square plus x minus 6 whole square equal to 6x square. Now we know that one identity of algebra that is a plus b plus c whole square. Let me write here. It is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times in bracket ab plus bc plus ca. Let us apply here. I will write for the first bracket I will write x power 4 plus x square plus 36 plus 2 times ab then minus x cube bc then 6x ca then minus 6x square. Similarly I will write for the second bracket x power 4 plus x square plus 36 expansion. Then I will consider plus 2 again x cube minus 6x and then minus 6x square equal to right hand side 6x square. See what we can cancel. We will cancel immediately. That would be x cube minus x cube and x cube. Okay. Then 6x and minus 6x. Done. Now what is left? 2 in bracket. x power 4 plus x square plus 36 minus 12 x square is equal to 6 x square. Now cancel this 2 and 6. I will write over there 3. So I will frame one quartic equation basically. x power 4 minus 11 x square plus 36. That would be equal to 3 x square. So our final equation that would be x power 4 minus 14x square plus 36 equal to 0. Now let us apply quadratic formula because this is quadratic equation in x square. So I will write x square value. x square is equal to minus b. So I will write minus of minus 14 plus 14 plus minus square root b square so 14 square is 196 minus 4 ac 4 times 36 is 144 divided by 2a so 2 done now 196 minus 144 that would be uh, 52 so let me write here x square is equal to 14 plus minus square root 52 divided by 2 so x will be equal to 14 plus minus 13 times 4 is 52. So I will write 2 square root 13 over 2. x square is equal to x square is equal to. Let's divide with 2. So 7 plus minus square root 13. Same logic. You can conclude both values are positive. We can take a square root from both sides. Once I will take square root I will write like this now square square root you can cancel x will come out plus minus square root 
7 plus minus square root 13. This is our final answer. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.